My family is on both mother's and father's side. Live in Lvov. I have some of my happiest memories of my childhood and that wonderful city. Our charmed life came to a rapid end with an outbreak of war in 1939. The Nazis started actions to arrest and deport a large portion of the Jewish population. The book was a, was a death trap. It was getting rapidly worse and worse. The degradation, the hunger, the street executions. This is when I decided, then at the age of 16, and I had to escape, or I'm just going to die. I found myself at the Lvov railroad station. The train for Warsaw was leaving in the morning. Then there was a Ukrainian militia and a German SS man demanding uh, documents. And the Ukrainian laughed and looked at me and says, I know you. I used to paint your grandparents' house. So the son of a bitch, he was not going to turn me in, which he did. Yanovska Street was like a concentration camp, and they were hanging some people. So one of his men was hanging but choking. He was not really, was not enough of a drop to break his neck. One of the camp commanders, Safira Rokita, he ordered me to throw myself at his feet and give it a good pull to help him die was not an offer I could refuse very well, so. Night, when it got dark, they started a selection. It was gonna be death or life. They formed a third group. Some people were arrested on the streets who had valid documents. Somehow, I joined that group and I marched out of the gate. I cannot think of better word than chutzpah to behave the way I did. People are dying left and right and being taken to camps, imprisoned, executed. I had a strange sense of immortality. I managed to get myself a job working for the Junkers, German aircraft manufacturers, at the Warsaw Airport. Dealing with equipment, a scheme has occurred to me, which could be formed both patriotic and profitable. Removing the equipment from the airport to the Polish underground. The business got a little too big. The Gestapo with dogs came looking for me. I left everything behind and ran over to my girlfriend's house to speak to her mother. She, at the risk of her life, let me stay in her apartment in this building. Uh, there was the entrance right here. She got me a set of new documents. I started a new life as Eugenio Skutowski. There was a Polish company called Metzger in charge with two Polish gentlemen we must go to Warsaw. Would you please, in the meantime, look after everything for us? I said, sure. They've gone and they never came back. Suddenly, I find myself as a head of a construction company. We had a big Christmas tree, but absolutely no means of decorating. So we made a condom tree. Ah, the German officers, you know, used to come from all over to look at it, congratulate me, and so. And I became somewhat of a local celebrity. It's amazing how quickly one can get used to living in fear. So it's a question of living in fear or trying to be fearless. 